now impacted as close to 100 universities and colleges move their classes online. So what does it say about your money that you spent on room and board? Our next guest says students forced out should be fully refunded. And joining us right now is Texas Congressman Lance Gooden. Uh, Congressman, uh, that seems to be logical and the only lawful thing to do. Do you project right. a problem? Well, I do project a problem. Some schools are doing the right thing. Some haven't made up their minds. My hope is that they will do the right thing and co congressional action is not necessary. But if you pay for room and board and you're being kicked out of your dorm, it only makes sense that you would get that money back. If I cancel a hotel reservation, even if it's non-refundable, hotels, which would still love for me to come, are refunding my deposit, my room, and my room uh, across the nation. But hotels are uh, still open for business. These schools are kicking students out and saying, you're on your own. So if that's the case, they need to be refunding these room and board costs. Right, and of course, uh, for a semester, if you cancel the whole semester, that's a different story. How could you possibly charge people and we only used a few weeks of the semester, right? That, that's right, and you know, students are easy to take advantage of. They're, they're not uh, historically voters. They're not loud. They don't have uh, lobby teams working for them. So uh, they need their uh, members of Congress to step up for them. Hopefully it's not necessary. Hopefully right. universities and colleges will do the right thing. All right, you got Harvard, Middle Middlebury, and Amherst are some of the schools that will prorate room and board starting on March 15th. So uh, a lot of them maybe want to apply it to the next semester if you're an underclassman. Uh, might that be acceptable to you? It might be. Uh, if I'm coming back the next semester, if I'm graduating in two months, or if I decide to go somewhere else, then I want to be sure I get that money back. But really, uh, students don't prob probably don't have uh, the means. If you're a low-income student, if you're on a scholarship, maybe you don't have anywhere to go back to. So you need that money right now. I, um, I'm hard-pressed to accept the idea uh, that universities need that money more than the students they're kicking out. Absolutely. You see, the parents are usually writing those checks. So That's I think the parents got to be proactive and go out there and fight for it like everything else usually to get into that school the other thing to think about which is maybe for another time is what about the athletes if you're a lacrosse player baseball player uh, anybody playing a spring sport you're not playing so That's do you right. come back next year and if you come back next year what about the incoming class of freshmen is there going to be any scholarship money available for them right do you lose your elig eligibility uh, for the, the minimum, the maximum number of years you can participate? Does this year count? There's a lot of decisions that are going to have to be made in the coming months. NCAA and everything like that. But I think it's great right. that you're getting ahead of it. A lot of parents who resonates with, especially uh, my house. Uh, my daughter's a freshman. Uh, she was told, don't come back. You're going to do this from uh, a remote location. Come get your stuff. W was she giving her money back? Uh, we have not addressed that. That bridge has not been crossed. She just found out that yesterday. That's why this segment is so perfect for us. Uh, appreciate well, it. Thank you. Thank Congressman, you. thanks a lot. Getting ahead of it, and we'll stay with it. Meanwhile, thank you. What is it like having the coronavirus? Our next guest was quarantined in 